Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Waves. In this video, I will discuss with you a very common scenario based question which is being asked nowadays quite often in the Power BI interviews. So you should definitely know how to answer it correctly. Okay. Now let me tell you that scenario and also if, before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos which will be quite helpful for all of you okay now let's see what was the scenario okay so to understand the scenario let me take you to a folder okay so as you can see here we are in a folder called practice files and in this practice files we have three files three csv files it can be excel also so we have product details 1, product details 2, product details 3. So I have these files open. So let me show you what is the data inside that. So in the product, it is quite a simple uh, CSV file where we have product A, B, C, D, their color and their price. Similarly, in the details 2, we have E, F, G, H with their color and price. And in the product detail 3, we have I, J, K, L with their color and their price. So we have quite simple three CSV files in a folder. Okay, and the name of the folder is CSV. Uh, sorry, this uh, practice files. Okay, now, now the interviewer will ask you how will you pull all these CSV files and combine it into one file in your Power BI desktop. Okay, so what ideally you will go, you will go in your Power Query and you will click on New Source, go to More, click on CSV file, you will connect it. Choose the file that you will bring and then click on open. Click on OK here. So we have product details one here. We have loaded it in our Power Query. Now what you will what, now what we will do we will again go back to that new source and click on more and click on CSV file. Click on CSV file, connect product details to open. Okay. So now you have loaded product details one, product details two. Okay. I am not loading product details three. So uh, after that, after loading all the three files, what you will do? You will go on product details one, click on this append queries as new, and what you will do? You will append it with product details two. Okay. You will you will select the product product details two table and click on okay. So what it will do? It will create a union of rows of both those two tables. Okay. So now you have the combined rows of data of all the files. So this answer you will give ideally, but the interviewer is not expecting this answer from you. So instead of giving this answer, what you have to give the answer is let me delete all this or I will keep it as it is. What I will do, I will click on this new source, click on more. And as you would have seen here, this is a very, uh, this is a manual exercise where we have, we are going to the selecting the CSV file and then uh, loading it in Power Query and then appending it, right? So it's a manual exercise. Anytime if a new file you have to include, you have to do it the same way, right? But the, the second method which I'm discussing right now, with that you don't have to do that also. So now you have to click on this folder option, okay? And click on this connect. After this, you have to browse the location. My location was in this PC and in documents this this was the folder in which those csv files were present click on this practice files and click on ok now click on ok after that click on this transform data now see what has happened it has pulled that folder with all its contents after that what you have to say to the interviewer is that we have to click on this combine files option here see you are seeing it here combine files click on this combine files So as soon as you have clicked on that combined files, you click on OK. It is evaluating that query. And now it will append automatically all the three files that, is, that are there in that particular folder. See, we have A, B, C, D products, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay. We have, now we have all those things with one click, right? We have clicked on combined files uh, icon that was shown there. Now after this, what you have to do, you just have to delete this column. Now the same union of records you will see here with this approach. Okay. So you have to tell this. Now, what is the advantage of this? So suppose in that folder, if I add one more file, 
Okay, suppose I have one more file here. So I will product details for control C. I will go to this folder control V. So now I have one more file here with the same structure. And now to see the content of this product details for file, what we have to do, we have to just go to the power query and just refresh this preview of this table. See, see, we have the content of that product details for file also. See, MNOP. So we have the products MNOP from that file. Okay. So in this way, what it is dynamically loading all the tables, all the files that you are loading it in that folder. Okay. You just have to click on this refresh preview option that is available in Power Query. But with the first approach, we have that disadvantage that we have to go individually, manually bring it to the Power Query and then append it and then that we get the final data. But over here, we just have to include the file in the, in the folder there. Okay. And just click on the refresh preview option here and just and then you will get your final output data. Okay. So in this way, you have to answer it to the interviewer. So this is the answer that he's expecting from you, not the first approach. The second approach you have to say. Okay. Okay. So this is what I wanted to share with you all. I hope uh, you like the explanation and like the video. So please share it with all your friends and colleagues, whoever are in need of this. Okay. And stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.